Welcome to Cebu Expat by Matt Wilkie, discussing expat life in the Philippines. Don't give your partner dollars in the Philippines, then complain that she's robbing you. The reason I say this is I work on the basis that the money's written off regardless. The reason I do write-offs is quite simply, um, subconsciously, I have no aggression or guilt or whatever. I have no connection with the money. Um, it doesn't mean anything. The reason this is important that if something goes wrong, I just write it off. I, I just like, that's gone. It's experience, whatever. You know, it's a bit like me saying, like, I'm going back to Spain, just call it a day with work, etc. Most people go into shock with that, that you just quit work and decide to go home. But for me, I don't care. You know, family is more important. Um, but a lot of people will complain that they've sent money and it's been misspent or whatever. Don't get into this because a lot of the time it's manipulation behind the scenes. What you have is you've got a mother, or an aunt, or an uncle, or brother-in-law, whatever, manipulating things. Um, where you went wrong was actually sending the money in the first place without knowing 100% where it was going. Now for an expat that was actually in country, he, he had several things happen. The first one was the funeral, where he was asked to, they said there wasn't enough money for the funeral, uh, funeral money for releasing the body etc so he said okay how much is it and they wanted seven thousand pesos or something he said okay who do i pay and the first thing is people just oh you know because they thought you were just going to give them the money but when you're going to pay the guy uh at the funeral home and he turns around and says no it's already taken care of they're already in there insured <laughs> um this guy realized he was being taken for a mug. Um, he had a similar thing happen when a child was sick because she was in hospital um, and he <laughs> agreed to pay the bill and then went looking for the person to pay the bill to to find out it was covered on insurance. Because this is how it works. This is very normal. Um, it's just when people start to realize that you won't put up with it, that they stop doing it. They do it to each other. Unfortunately, it is something that goes on far too often. Um, you have, right, so a relative dies, right? So what's the first thing people do? They pull money together. Now, unless you're 100% sure that person who's pulling the money can be trusted, I guarantee some of that money's disappeared. Um, a lot of the time it's culturally embedded. Um, it's become so normal, they don't even see it as being wrong. So it's just stuff to be aware of. That's why I say, I just, money, I don't care. Um, I won't let people abuse it, but at the same time, um, I'll bring something up from like six months ago and go, oh yeah, by the way, what did happen with this or that? And then people go, oh, he's, re he's remembered. So as people know, I don't forget stuff anyway. But I don't make a big thing about it because it, it ain't gonna change it. Um, but you getting angry about sending money and it's been spent on the wrong things. The issue was that you sent the money in the first place. The issue was you didn't have a good enough conversation with your partner. Cause it doesn't mean your partner is a bad person. A lot of time they listen to relatives because they live with their relatives. They can't overrule their relatives. They're, if a niece or nephew or something is working in mcdonald's and an aunt walks in and wants discount and for that niece or nephew to pay for it the niece or nephew will pay for it out their own salary if that same aunt had an issue with the manager in there she could actually turn around and tell that niece or nephew just walk out and nine times out of ten they would just leave they would just quit that's that's the realities of it. So don't be so aggressive on like, she's stealing from me, blah, 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 unless you're hundred percent she is. Because a lot of the time it's stuff in the background you're unaware of. 
and you need to prize that out because once you have all the information you then know which person is actually instigating this and also they will get angry the fact that you now know because that whole uh, hiding behind your partner has now disappeared the gravy train has gone has left the station um, but also the money not only has stopped but the more important thing is they cannot force your partner to do it anymore. Um, it's a sad state to be in, but at the same time, do not get angry. Angry doesn't fix it. Um, it's a bit like, you know, with some of these scammers online. I don't get annoyed with them. I get tired of them. Because um, the funny thing is, I get people still, because i obviously on the internet quite a lot with the blogs and stuff. People will email me randomly um, with the expectation of, I don't know what, getting money or something. It doesn't happen. Um, I have enough people that I have a connection with to keep me busy. Um, I have enough charitable projects to keep me busy. I've got enough building projects to keep me busy. I don't need random people assuming they can just ask me for cash or um try and create some sort of weird relationship when they know i'm already happily married and i've got no interest outside of my wife um but people still try it doesn't stop them trying because they don't see anything wrong with it um i remember somebody saying this about uh, his wife's i think it was his wife's classmate at school because he was returning back to, I think it was, the, was it Bahrain? It was Bahrain, I think. Um, he was on the same flight as his wife's classmates. His wife was staying, because his wife didn't actually work in Bahrain. Um, he was basically gone to the Philippines, meet his wife, spent a bit of time with his wife, then going back to work in Bahrain. Um, and this classmate was going to Bahrain to work. And basically she's turned around and offered herself to him because like he was just saying what well, well, she was saying well you know what happens in bahrain stays in bahrain that's it and he was like but she's your best mate you've been like friends since childhood well, i don't get it so i just said a lot of time we don't understand what's going on in people's heads but there's no point getting annoyed about it or frustrated you can't fix it. What you can fix is communication. Improve the communication, you understand things better, you can see telltale signs better, um, so you can avoid things better. But if money disappears, it ain't coming back. So don't worry about it. Um, it's frustrating, but the most important thing is, it's a lesson learned and just put it down as that, nothing more.